Hi guys, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. A swarm of earthquakes down there on the Imperial Valley Fault Zone, the largest being a magnitude 5.3 earthquake occurred at 10.55 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So far, there has been over 278 earthquakes so far. 1,052 people have reportedly felt this earthquake. It was a strike-slip earthquake on the Imperial Valley Fault Zone. Here you can see the Imperial Valley Fault Zone is part of the Bradley Fault Zone, which runs up to the San Andreas Fault Zone. Um, back in 1981, close to the same location, there was a magnitude 5.9. This was a strike-slip earthquake. And a lot of these are the earthquakes from last year, 2020. USGS said when they had the swarm last year, and this is a likely thing to happen this year, that a larger earthquake, a magnitude 5.5 to 6.9, could occur within the next 10 days. Now, this was from October of last year. Um, they haven't put out anything about what they're going to expect but back then uh, they figured that none would be larger than the magnitude 5.4 over the next seven days and seeing how they already had a magnitude 5.3 you know any earthquake has a 20 percent chance of being a foreshock for something much larger using uh, USGS website here's the location it's up to 279 um, it very well could trigger an earthquake as you can see, it seems to be activating other fault zones. Many are saying this is along the West Moreland Fault Zone. There was a large earthquake in 1981 that did over uh, $1 to $3 million in damage with the uh, intensity level of 7. USGS has given this earthquake an intensity level of 6. This fault ruptured almost 14 miles. I'm trying to get this to light up for you right there. And I'll bring it down. But anyways, I'll give you more information um, a little bit later tonight. If any thoughts or comments. Do you have damage? You very well could have damage. I, I would be surprised if you don't have damage. Uh, please put that down below. And like I said, I'll have an update later about this earthquake. Always be safe, always be prepared for a disaster, and I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.